Hey what's up guys welcome to another instep tutorial for beginners I am Shai Sheikh in today's tutorial I will be demonstrating how to create an impossible hexagon if you are also interested to know how to create an impossible triangle impossible square and an impossible star check the link in the description below if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel to get my all latest tips and tutorials let's get started open up the instep now first I will go to the file Document properties, display units. I will set to the pixel unit also pixel border. So page border. I will uncheck this one. Cancel this. Now come here to the view. Make sure you have custom selected. Let's say you have selected this default. This will bring the snapping section to the right side. Or let's say you have selected this wide. It will look like this. So make sure you have custom selected. Now again come here to the view. Zoom. 101. Now open up this edit object color gradient and make sure you have enabled the snapping section. Now first I will create a hexagon. To create a hexagon select this create stars and polygon. Now come up here select this polygon. Corner give it a value of 6. Rounded and randomized leave it to the 0. Now by holding control in the keyboard draw a hexagon select this bring this here in the middle we have stroke here I will get rid of this hold shift in the keyboard and select this cancel sign so it will get rid of the stroke now come here bring the opacity to the half now I will make a duplicate of this right click duplicate or we can use keyboard shortcut which is Control D Now make a copy of it, right click, duplicate, change the color. Now by holding control in the keyboard, bring this down. Maybe this far is good. Now select out of the graphic to deselect. We need this blue graphic, only this part of the blue graphic. So what I will do, select this blue hexagon now by holding shift in the keyboard select this yellow hexagon now come here to the path difference now bring the opacity to the 100% come here to the color palette let's try this color now come here to the fill section come here to the linear gradient now press G in the keyboard so we get the rotation angle now bring this here and place this here when you bring this down it will automatically get snapped to this corner now select this give it a little darker color not that far this much is better now select this select out of the graphic to deselect now again select this make a duplicate of this now select this make a duplicate of this right click duplicate Click one more time so we get the rotation angle. Now by holding control in the keyboard, bring this to the leftward that far. Now place it here. Now again make a duplicate of this. Right click, duplicate. We have the rotation angle. Now by holding control in the keyboard, bring this leftward. Now place it here. Again make a duplicate of this. Right click, duplicate. We have the rotation angle. Bring this leftward. Now place it here, right click, duplicate, we have the rotation angle, flip this, now come here, place it here, now again make a duplicate of this, right click, duplicate, we have the rotation angle, bring this to the leftward, now place it here. We have created our impossible hexagon, now what I will do, drag over this whole graphic, Now I will make a duplicate of this, right click, duplicate. Now by holding control in the keyboard, bring this here to the right side. Now come here to the color palette, select this, none. So we get this. So we get rid of this fill tab. 
now by holding shift in the keyboard select this black color so it will give it a color to the stroke now come here to the stroke style from this drop down select pixels and give it a width value of 25 it's good now come here to the path stroke to path path union now come here to the fill section give it a linear gradient press G in the keyboard so we get this rotation angle now bring this square and place it here to the top now bring this circle and place it here to the down now select this circle come here to the color palette and select this color bring this little bit down now click here two times so we get this node here select this node and give it any color which one you like let's say give this color now bring this little bit down and this is this little bit up now select this square change the color let's say for this view this color select it select out of the graphic to deselect so guys that's how we can create an impossible hexagon using Inkscape if you are also interested to know how to create a geometric thinness vector pattern check the link in the description below if this video was helpful to you please make sure to give a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel to get my all latest tips and tutorials thanks a lot for watching guys see you in the next video